So let's learn how to do input. Now that you've learned how to use a random class to generate a variable that will have a random object in it to create random numbers, we need to work with another class. This class is called the Scanner class. The Scanner class is also found in the java.util library and it allows you to get input from the keyboard. Let's create a new project. File, new, Java project. We'll call this get input. Call it whatever you want. Down here under the get input, we're going to add a class to the source. And I'm going to go ahead and call it the same name as the project, get input. And I'm going to leave the public static void main option checked and click finish. The scanner class allows you to create an object that has methods to get input from the keyboard. Down in our main method area, we're going to type scanner. That's the class name or the data type. My variable name, I'll call my scan. You can call it anything you want. That declares a variable called my scan of data type scanner, meaning someday it can have a scanner object in it. Equals, do you remember how we create a new object? You use the new keyword that instantiates or constructs an object. Scanner parentheses. The scanner method needs to know where are you getting data for this new object. Type in system.in and then make sure you have a semicolon at the end of the statement. The system.in refers to the keyboard. Now, if we look at the scanner, it says red underlined. I don't understand what this is. That's because you're trying to use a class, but it doesn't know where that class source code is found. If you put your cursor on the error, notice that Eclipse brings up suggestions for how to fix it we need to import the scanner class. So if I click on that and scroll up, you'll see that it imported java.util.scanner. Now I have access to use that object to get input. Let's say that I want to prompt the user to enter in a name and then an age. The name would be a string, the age would be an int variable. So I need to create some variables to hold the data that I'm going to go get from the keyboard. String s name int i age. My variables are now created. Those are my pockets in memory where I can store data. I'm going to prompt the user to enter a name. That will display on the screen, enter the name. Now we need to actually go and get the data. We know that after they type in the data and press enter, we want to store that in one of our pockets, one of our variables. We want to store that, that data in the variable s name. S name is equal to whatever we get from the keyboard. This is how you get data from the keyboard. You use the variable that contains the object of type scanner. So you'd say my scan. That's the variable that contains the, the scanner object. Press the period key and Eclipse says here's all the different methods that can do work for that object. The next line method says get string data from the keyboard. I'll press enter and semicolon. I'm going to go ahead and save that and run it and let's see what happens. It prompts down here to enter in your name. You have to click and I'll type in Greg and press enter. Program's over. When I typed in Greg and pressed enter, the MyScan object said, next line, I'm waiting for data. Once you press the enter key, whatever you typed into the keyboard buffer will be stored to the variable s name. In fact, I could come in afterwards and type in system.out.out print line, the name was space, quote, and I could add on the contents of that variable s name. 
Let's save that and run it one more time and see what happens. Name, Greg, enter. The name was Greg. Now let's say we also want to go get the age. System dot out dot print line enter the age. Once again you want to get input from the keyboard. In this case we want to get an integer value and whatever they type in we want to store to the variable I age that I've already created. I age is equal to whatever we get from the keyboard. Remember you created the my scan variable. It contains a scanner object and there's another method you could use called next int. That says grab data from the keyboard as an integer and store it. I'm going to show that it actually worked by coming down here and typing in system.out.println the age was and we'll display the contents of the I age variable. Let's save that and run it. Name, Greg, enter, enter the age, 50, yes, I'm old, enter. The name was Greg, the age was 50. That's how you get data using scanner.